Hey, it's Bob Nagan, and in this episode of Real Retail TV, we are going to explore a really important choice for these tricky times. So I am out walking Tucker in Mini Swarak Nature Preserve. God, I just love the lushness of Michigan in the summer. It's been rainy, so it's super green. It's just nice. But uh, I've had several conversations with people lately who are afraid. Uh, the uncertainty that we're still in has made them afraid. You see, uncertainty naturally breeds fear. If we don't know what's going to happen, we can we naturally become afraid of what might happen. And this is a time when fear is not your friend. So you can sort of break the last two years up into uh, BC, before coronavirus, and AC, after coronavirus. And before coronavirus, uh, there was a very particular way of doing things. You know, you marketed your business. It was primarily about driving people into your store. And you developed a skill set based on a set of assumptions. <laughs> And, you know, I mean, yes, of course, there were the usual stresses about running a retail store, but uh, all in all, we were all moving forward in the same way. The pandemic came. And although we are not out of the pandemic yet, I think that we can all agree that we're much closer to normal. Here in Michigan, for instance, all the restrictions have been lifted. Uh, everybody who has wanted, who wants a vaccination has gotten it. And I think that this holds true for most places in the country. So things have changed. We are, uh, I'm officially declaring this AC after coronavirus, but the problem that I see and the choice that you have to make is that our mentality changed during the pandemic, that the uncertainty and the fear sort of drove fear as the default the default for all big decisions. So, you know, recently, I mean, like I said, I've had several conversations, including at the Platinum Mastermind Group meeting, this whole idea of, you know, what are we gonna do now? And when fear is driving your decisions, uh, you're not playing big. Uh, at the Retail Success Summit, Gary Vayner Vaynerchuk said, you're playing offense or defense, and now is the time to play offense. And what I'm making this Real Retail TV about it is, is the, my encouragement to you to be very, very aware of why you're making decisions, particularly big decisions. Are they based on fear? fear that was created because of the uncertainty during the pandemic, or are they based on courage? Courage for, that comes from the understanding that you have made it. You are a badass. You have made it through the pandemic, and there are tremendous opportunities in front of us. Defense is living in the world of, oh, something might bad, might, bad might happen. Courage is saying, there are so many opportunities for me right now. I might have to step out of my comfort zone, but I recognize that when I step out of my comfort zone, good things are going to happen because of my courage. And just as another aside, Courage breeds confidence, right? When you step out of your comp comfort zone, when you do something that you're not quite, quite ready to do, it gives you confidence, the kind of confidence that helps you grow, the kind of confidence that will give you that great, great, great leg up in this whole, uh, you know, AC world. So the choice that I was talking about, the choice 
is fear or courage. But I want to talk about one other thing here real quickly because it ties into how you make your choices. Is your choice fear or courage? So uh, Alan Watts was a philosopher and uh, he has a great quote and he said, um, uh, beliefs are holding on, faith is letting go. Beliefs are clinging to, faith is letting go. And I want to explore that with you for just a second here because your belief about yourself and your ability will have a huge impact on whether you feel good and comfortable and willing to make choices based on courage, choices based on the understanding that you're going to build a better business than ever. So beliefs, here is my belief for you. I would encourage you to adapt the belief that you are, like I just said, you are a bad ass retailer. Excuse my language, I'm feeling it today. But that you've got the chops, right? You have made it through the pandemic. You have gone through one of the most uncertain times we will hopefully ever go through again. You are amazing. You are awesome. You are here. You are standing. That belief in yourself Give, uh, allows you to have the faith to let go. You see, when you believe that you've got the chops to weather any storm that comes your way, after all of the things that you have been through, you can have the faith to let go. You can have the faith to make a big decision based on courage, to uh, do the things that you might not have done pre-pandemic to really go out there and say, look, now is the time. And I'm looking at all you right now and saying, now is the time. You know, the world has changed. BC, it was all about driving people into your, into your store. But think about the skills that you've learned. AC, after coronavirus, all of the skills that you learned during the pandemic, you are now able to put into your business AC. You know, it is now an omni-experiential world and it's yours to take advantage of. You know, your, your e-commerce presence is as important as ever and it's probably better than it's ever been. Think about all the things that you do now that you didn't do then. Your social media is probably a lot better, more robust, a lot more sophisticated than it was before the pandemic. Social selling, nobody was doing social. I shouldn't say nobody. QVC was doing social selling, certainly not independent brick and mortar retailers doing social selling. And you know, you use something like comment solds. Now you have technologies. Uh, you know, uh, all of these things, clienteling, all of these skills that you built and all of the technologies that became available because of the pandemic, they're all there for you right now. Beliefs cling to, cling to the belief that you've got what it takes. And all of a sudden mosquitoes are coming out. The cling to the belief that you have what it takes to weather any storm because you have weathered the worst storm anyone has ever seen and have faith to trust your gut and do the things that are going to create the kind of business that you deserve, that are going to create the kind of business that supports a lifestyle that you deserve. You see, it really is about fear or courage. Faith in yourself or belief in yourself ah, and faith enough to let go. So I hope that this message is helpful to you. And I know some of you are still afraid, still a little scarred from what happened in the last 15 months or so. And I get it. I understand it. But I'm asking you to and encouraging you to recognize that it is a brand new day. It is a brand new day for you as an independent retailer. It is a brand new day for us as a community of independent retailers. And if we have the courage to go out 
and become the very, very best merchants that we can become. Independent retailers, you individually and us collectively are going to, mm, we're gonna make such an impact in the world. And it's gonna be so, so very fun to see. Another mosquito. <laughs> All right, everybody, I got to get out of here. The mosquitoes are eating me alive. So I'd love to hear what you have to say. Put your comments down below. I'm Bob Nagan, and we'll talk next week.